guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be creating a glam teapot stand um, I just want to raise my teapot up off my counter just give it some height so I'm using this Dollar Tree candle holder and votif that I actually had to purchase from the Dollar Tree website because I couldn't find it on my local Dollar Tree so basically what I'm doing is just taking the mirror out of the frame because that's the part that I want to use and I'm going to use a part of this the back of the mirror to give it some padding so I'm just gonna cut out the amount that I need to cushion the bottom of my mirror because that's what I'm going to be gluing on top of it Guys, I've had these for a while. I actually buy them in bulk when I find them at my Dollar Tree so that I'll have them whenever I need them. And just to give it some uh, some more height and something for me to work with because I am going to add my rhinestone wrap or this is more of a jewel wrap. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And I'm just going to hot glue this around the edges of it to kind of glam it up so when I sit my teapot on there, it'll add a little bit of elegance to it. Okay, and this diamond wrap does go on um, it's really flexible so you can actually use this with if you have to put it on something that has curves and bends and it came out really cute and this is what my teapot looks like on it I actually have tea in there my second DIY is going to be to remake or change the color of my curry coffee pot uh, in all honesty guys, I'm really not a huge coffee drinker, but I do like it ever, every now and then. And I'm going to use this Metallic Accents Gold uh, Champagne. That's a champagne paint and this Polycrylic Protective Coating. I'm just going to use a, a really, really small amount of this uh, uh, protective coating because this is a coffee pot and I will be drinking the coffee that comes out of it and in the video just to let you guys know that I'm staying away from the spout where the hot water comes out um, this is a metallic paint I read up as much as I could on it before I decided to use it and it is water based though so that's good but just for the sake of being careful, I'm not going to add it around the bottom of the spout or the back of the coffee pot where the water actually goes in. So this method actually uh, worked better for me. I started out with that brush, but it really wasn't putting the paint on like I wanted it. And this first coat came started going on really, really smooth. Mind you, I had to put on three coats of this so uh, the paint does take about 30 maybe 45 minutes to dry so I let that first layer dry uh, for about an hour in between adding my coats and this is actually my second coat this is the second coat yeah and as you can see the back um, I, I try to stay away from that the area where that hot water goes into comes out of the reservoir goes into the reservoir whichever way it works and I'm really liking the color on this the camera really doesn't do it justice and this is the finished coat this is actually the finished coat with the polycrylic um, top coat on it and it came out really really well I do apologize for the lighting guys but this it really came out nice and shiny the paint dried really even there are no brush strokes left in it so I really like those foam brushes better now I did lose the the words on there but 
to make up for the little cup displays yeah and that's I'm just showing you where I didn't add the paint and the spout and I didn't add the paint to the back of it because I didn't want paint seeping into my coffee so if you decide to do this guys just stay away from those areas nobody's gonna look under there and see that it's still red I'm using these these uh, gems to kind of signify where the cup sizes are and also this champagne wrap this wrap is so pretty and it's actually a champagne color I'll leave a link for this also in the description box if you want to purchase it I think this is going to be my new wrap and this is what it looks like guys after I got it done it's sitting on my DIY uh, k-cup powder I actually bought this from Goodwill and I paid five dollars for it as you can see I have the bigger diamond for the big cup and then the middle size diamond and then the small diamond indicating what size cup of coffee you want or tea and I just decided to add some of that rhinestone uh, jewel wrap or I'm not sure what you call it but I'll leave a description also and I keep this cup here just for it drips I don't actually drink out of this cup and this is what it looks like guys I think it came out really really nice But let me know what you guys think. If this is the type of content that you like, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. I also want to go over my coffee slash tea bar. Uh, these glasses came from Home Goods, and I ordered these spoons and uh, hors d'oeuvre forks with the little swan, and all of them came from Amazon. This is a pixie can. Those pixie sticks, I think that's what they call them. I just DIY that can and added some flowers and a brooch. This picture frame says start your day with coffee. And these little tongs also came from Amazon. I use these to add sugar cubes to my tea. And this is a jewelry box that I also purchased from Amazon. It has my um, immune tea, my mango ginger, turmeric. I have some other teas too, but these are just the ones I have on display. Uh, this little sugar bowl came from Goodwill. My daughter actually bought that for me. And there's my tea stand with my teapot, and it has some green tea in there. I drink green tea pretty much all day long, so I like to have it handy. Great thing about tea is you can drink it hot or cold. These Teacups and saucers also came from Amazon and they're just on display. This shelf is actually from Burlington. I bought that and I'm using it to display my cups. And this is the finished champagne gold coffee pot. And this is everything together. So guys, if you like this video, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Tap that notification bell so you get an alert whenever I post a new video. Until the next time, bye guys!